Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a brand new show reaction. Today I'm going to start Nichi Jo and this is my first episode reaction to this anime. Okay, so um, I did a poll recently and uh, in that poll uh, Nichi Jo won by almost 50% votes. <laughs> so it was like, you know, obviously this one won. That's why I'm going to start reacting to this. I think this has 26 episodes and uh, i'm going to do one episode every week so it'll probably take me like six months for uh, isn't it yeah six months six months for me to like you know for this reaction to end so uh, like you know, it's, it's it's here for a long time I, I would have done like you know two episodes per week but i'm already scheduled with a lot of other animes as well so i'll be only be able to do one episode per week so yeah okay so um nichijo now this anime like if, if you're watching anime for as long as i am you're bound to have heard about nichijo and i've heard a lot and uh, i've seen uh, the other shows you know the other extremely hilarious ones i've seen which are always kind of comes in as a set with nichijo for example uh, the daily lives of high school boys i've watched that you know it was hilarious i loved it um uh, nowadays like you know a, a recent anime a few years ago it came out asobi asobase that is also another hilarious one which is always recommended alongside nichijo nowadays i've watched that as well and um i think hinamatsuri as well i've watched hinamatsuri as well the only one which i had not watched was nichijo and uh, yeah here we go i'm here and i'm going to react to it and finally i'm going to watch this masterpiece of a show i know this has like an, a like huge popularity it's hella hilarious and uh, yeah as i said if you're in like you know watching anime for a long time you're bound to have come across nichijou now and then in different um you know meme videos or try not to laugh videos like you know the extremely popular ones i've i i know the clips for example there's one clip where there's like a principal who uh, you know like wrestles a deer or something <laughs> and then there's there's another one another hilarious one where uh there's like um what was that like you know, someone like you know bonking uh, a character's head and it kind of keeps playing on repeat you know these clips like you know the, the, we always see them in different things so you know like i i know like this is like a really good show and it's it's bound to be hilarious so yeah i'm 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 sure i'm going to have a blast with this and uh, <laughs> yeah let's get started so yeah without further ado let's uh, start the first episode reaction so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go motivation Yuko, that's her name. Okay. <laughs> Relatable? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that was a haiku, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> she no normal love. Everyday life partner. Yo, that girl has a. What's that? The the. the... What are those called? Um, I forgot the name. a robot or something oh oh my god the ca <laughs> yeah she is a ro she is a robot <laughs> The way she's running. Okay. Oh my god.
Oh no, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what happened? Did she blow up everything? Wow, okay, that was unusual. Oh my god, I've heard this opening so many times. This is another one of the most popular openings in anime. <laughs> I'm trying to read the subtitles. So this is like a love poem. Oh my god! Okay, I, I was reading the subtitles, so basically this is like a one-sided love poem. <laughs> Alright. Wooden figurine. Oh my god, what's happening? She blew up the whole... What? Is that... Yeah, is that like a different language? <laughs> Will it work? <laughs> oh my god! From the sky. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, yep, you are lucky indeed. <laughs> Akabeko. Okay. Oh wow, you're gonna get your wish very soon. Yeah, there you go, the salmon that we saw. Yep. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh. Oh my god, okay. Yo, what the? <laughs> she didn't even answer that. It's State Magazine. <laughs> She's like, why is no one answering? Okay. Okay, I think that's a different language, isn't it? I'll have to check it out. <laughs> yeah, what language? Okay, that's a homeroom teacher. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, Yeah, like
笠原。OK <laughs> Oh yeah, she blew up Or something happened She was in the rooftop <laughs> Alright, how is she gonna go down? <laughs> She's like, oh, where should I... <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. She has to jump. Uh, maybe maybe on the tree or something. <laughs> oh no. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's a very apparent to everyone, but Oh, that, it's that girl, uh, the one in school we saw. Whoa, 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 oh, no. What type of a game is this? Okay. Uh, yeah, everyone does that. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, this is how this is going to go. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> She's going super saiyan. <laughs> yeah, grab it by your hand. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh yeah, nice. Oh, obstacle. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's. All right, grab it. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Throw the chopsticks. Okay. All right. Yeah, she got it. But I'm Yeah, I'm I'm 3 second rule. <laughs> Oh my god, that's nice. It went through his hair. Uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Her uh, hair thing. It's kind of interesting. It's like a cube. It's like floating in the sky or something. <laughs> okay. What the hell are they wearing? Oh! <laughs> this is a principal, isn't it? I've seen him a lot in that clip. Where he wrestles the deer. <laughs> this is so relatable. Just waiting for the principal to end his speech and just... Wow, that's a new one. <laughs> it's 
Uh, I feel like he he has fun telling them. Wow. Okay. <laughs> What? I... <laughs> okay. Oh my god. What? Oh no. Wait, what is that? Is that a squid? Yeah. <laughs> That's why she was laughing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's still. <laughs> Yo, the mic is... It's still holding the... <coughs> Goats. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Oh my god, I think this is that guy who was riding on the... He's right, you know, there's nowhere written that you can't ride a goat. Oh, that's Sasahara. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> what is it? Oh. True. <laughs> Lots of big dream. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Me too. Oh, the squid is gone. How did sh Hmm. Yeah, who did that? <laughs> oh, does she know anything about that? Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, they're like just... Oh no, is it the principles? Oh! Yo! Oh my god! Okay. 
Hmm? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Ye yeah. She just pressed it. Oh my god, this is going to be a full on chaos. What? What is this? Uh, clueless. The thing that you're doing now, that's clueless. Captain. There you go. Requirements and affairs. Oh, still the goat. <laughs> well. Pasahara <laughs> Kojiro. <laughs> 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 okay. Nano. Oh, that's the professor who made her. Okay. Okay. Oh, you! Oh, really? <laughs> no, no, those stand, no. Ah, that hurts. Don't! Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. Oh, oh wait, that's a pen drive. What is that? <laughs> mm. Yeah, because of that, it probably just, uh, Oh, it's, oh my god. What? <laughs> All right. Oh, this guy, he got blown up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is that the end? Okay. Well, okay, one thing I realized, this show has a lot of characters. Like, I don't... I don't know how much time it would take for me to remember the name. I remember a girl called Mio, I think that... Was it Mio or was it something else? 
the girl who was like you know the other girl and who was laughing at the squid and uh, i think the robot's name is nano professor i need to check the names again Okay, this is a cute ending song. Uh, the professor loves dolphins. I can see that. Dolphins are sharks. Uh, sharks, most probably. Okay. Oh, they. There's a pen drive. Okay, I think that's the end. Yep, that's it. All right, that was the beginning of this chaotic show. <laughs> okay, as I said, this. It seems like this has quite a lot of um, characters. Now you know what? Let me double check the names. Uh, <clears throat> because it will probably take me a while to actually memorize the names okay um okay yuko hakase our professor okay mio there you go okay uh mio is the blue haired girl's name okay uh nano is the robot's name my my is the glasses girl's name the the one who is laughing at the squid her name is mine and mio is the blue haired girl okay um yuko is the other girl's name while yeah and asasahara we know him we got to know him today all right so these are the names all right so uh this is the first episode of nichijo and <laughs> it it I like the the name all already tells us what the basic thing about this show is everyday life eh? nichi jo everyday life and uh, uh one thing we can probably understand from this is these <laughs> characters their everyday life is not so everyday life you know because <laughs> i don't think these these stuff these type of stuff happens in our everyday life but it's it's completely wild and just like you know just completely chaotic <laughs> Okay, so in the first section, um, okay, the first section they were talking about motivation, and oh boy, that was relatable when you know, like, uh, what's her name? Mm, Nanase? No, sorry, Yuko. Okay, I need to learn the names properly. Yuko. Yuko was talking about how, um, you know, like, she's not getting motivated to get motivated. <laughs> Which is, uh, I feel like a lot of people have felt this somewhere in their lives. So, <laughs> the, the answer to that question is, as Mio says, just get motivated. Like, nothing else you can do about it. <laughs> and, okay, so that's how it starts. And one thing I noticed about the girl, um, uh, Mio, her hair, kind of an interesting hairstyle. She has like a cube. Here, you know which ties the hair i think into uh the twin tails so but but her hair is floating it's kind of interesting like you know kind of like an interesting hairstyle that she has and uh yeah okay now <clears throat> one thing i was able to realize is this show has i think like two parts of it like one part is we see these high school girls or middle school i don't know uh and uh the other half is the professor and uh um uh, what's her name nano i think that's her name yeah nano uh the professor and the nano these two so like they're like in the school and these two are like you know in their house doing their own thing and uh, at first i was extremely like i was like what the hell this girl has like a uh, what do you call those things i cannot remember you know the uh the thing that you turn <sighs> I forgot the term for it. 
like, I, I think I think you call them key. I think yeah, like uh, something like that. Anyways, the key behind her back. Um, so I was like, what the hell is that? Is she like a doll or something? Like, what is this? And then yeah, it kind of like you know they kind of explain it. She's a robot, and Hakase made her. <laughs> and she just does the household work and just hangs around, helps the professor in doing her thing and all that stuff. So the professor. I love the professor's. Who is the professor's voice actor? Kono Hiromi. All right, so <clears throat> yeah, the professor is like kind of like a kid, you could say. You know, she's just waking up and she's like, "Oh, what are you making for breakfast?" And Nano is like, "Oh, we, we, we're having fried fish." And she's she tells about how fried fish is good, uh, like you know, now and then. But uh, the cat. Like, you know, the cat was probably waiting for that moment to just snag it. And <laughs> she just, it just runs away with the food. <laughs> and Nano tries to chase it. <laughs> and she, in her head, she was thinking of scenarios like, oh, maybe the cat is really, like, you know, has, like, kids and everything, taking the food for them. Unfortunately, we don't know whether that's true or not, because before that happens, before we get to know where the cat was taking the food, she bumps into one of the students and just blows off the whole place like i don't know what the hell happened there <clears throat> what type of an explosion was that you know like mm, like it, i think it was just like a like a wind explosion or something like that like like it blew up the whole place but there was no damage and the only thing that happened is i feel like a lot of things got blown away for example uh salmon uh like you know the wooden statue and uh, the 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 red cow and all these things just like you know <laughs> got blown off and uh, yeah now then <clears throat> and the opening as i was saying the opening is extremely popular and you know like uh, like since like and i've been watching anime for a long time i've heard that opening multiple times so this is not my first time uh, seeing the opening but um this is the first time act for me actually paying attention to the lyrics <clears throat> because i've heard a lot of people talk about how the lyrics was actually like a one-sided love poem and i was that's why I was, I was like you know keeping an eye on the subtitles and yeah it, it is basically like as they say i think the name of the uh, opening is kata omoi or like you know one-sided love or unrequited love so <clears throat> that was basically what was happening in the lyrics of the opening <laughs> okay now here uh, after the opening we see uh, mio mio yeah mio and yuko uh both of them going to school and they talk about how like you know like like you know like us oh the selamat what is this selamat pagi is that like a real selamat or did she just make it up selamat pagi good morning okay what indonesian okay 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 all right so <clears throat> she was you know like saying that and you just ignored her. <laughs> oh my god and uh, now she talks about how there might be like a sudden storm and something and and the uh, the wooden figure or okay she falls on her head <laughs> and she's like okay maybe maybe i am kind of lucky you know uh, and then like a uh, red cow or i think they call it a uh, aka let me check the name aka boko i think just a sec Akabeko. Now I do know there's like a thing about. Let me check. Akabeko. Uh, where is it? Okay, here we go. Akabeko, legendary cow from Aizu region of Japan who inspired a traditional toy. Aizu legends claim that these toys are based on real cow used to build Enzoji Temple of yeah, Yana is in the 9th century. Okay, um. Wait a minute, I, I, I know that, yeah, uh, here we go, the, for example, the Igarashi family paints the Chinese character Kotobuki, longevity and luck, there you go, on the cow's back and the sun and moon on its sides, and the other, okay, so there you go, like, it has something to do with luck, and that's why she was, I think that's why she was talking about how, like, you know, like, um, you know, if, if she's lucky or something like that, and, and, and the Akabeko falls on her head. 
and then she's like all right you know what these are like inanimate objects and stuff so um what like you know I, I thank god it's not something real like like you know like actually raw food or something and oh the salmon falls on her head <laughs> now then we go to the school and we can see a, quite a few interesting characters especially the one being i think sasahara that was his name what was his name sasahara sasahara yeah on his goat and then there's this i think like that's like a butler or something of the house <laughs> like you know with the rope of the uh, goat in his hand his or her i don't even know if that's a male or a female <clears throat> okay now we go in to classroom again uh you go with her what, what was her what did she say stella okay Stella, Selama Pagi. Okay, there you go. Again, she brings that up while <laughs> um, Mai just ignores her again, and she's like, you know what? Like, l let me just stop saying that. And <laughs> then she answers. She's like, okay, she says something different. Um, Selama Malam. What, what does that mean? Selamat pagi is good morning. Then Selamat. Good night. <laughs> okay. All right. So she she basically like you know greeted her with good night. But still she was happy. You know she was like oh finally someone like you know like it just responded to me, and she's happy with it. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Now the homeroom teacher comes in and talks about how the uh the buddha statue was in her in her locker and she's like like who did this and like you know like uh like if, if there's anyone who wants to say confess please tell and uh, you know the students like they're like what the hell like nobody knows while mio and uh yuko yeah yuko the both of them talk about if like you know someone has like a one-sided feeling for her and here we get to know one thing that uh, mio has like a Crush on Sasahara, something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> we go to. <laughs> then we go to Nano's, like, in you know, a perspective. She's just on the roof, just stuck. And she's like, How the hell am I supposed to go down? She goes here, she goes there. She cannot find out how to come down. And she's thinking about what will happen to the professor. She's all alone, this and that, and just. Oh, her hand is also gone. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I can see one thing like this this show does, which is kind of similar to uh, uh, Daily Life of High School Boys as well, which is they kind of bring up like, you know, short, short sections of just random stuff. For example, the next scene, we see how um, Mai is in the, like, you know, like outside in a park or something. And the dog, you know, like she, she throws a frisbee, the dog goes to catch it and she just shoots the frisbee. Just destroys it and just, she's like, yay. And uh, this scene, this scene was a random short scene with just random stuff. And uh, now I, I feel like this was like a reference to, I don't know if you guys have played it, but um, you know, like uh, when I was like, you know, in my childhood, there was this game. I think it's still there, like, you know, like, in, in probably, in, like, you know, in, in, maybe you can just, yeah, it's probably there in, like, you know, computers and stuff, you can find it, um, the, um, like, you know, there's, like, a dog, who, like, you know, I think you call it dark shooter or something like that, where a dog would used to jump, and, uh, uh no, no, not, not, the dog didn't jump, sorry, um, you had to shoot the ducks, and the dog used to go and get them, and uh, we had like that in a like you know like you know we used to play that when we were you know, like you know I was a uh, child and we had like this type of a gun you know like a small little plastic gun which probably had like sensors or something where you used to uh, like you know aim it at the television and shoot it and you know the the duck if like hit correctly the duck would go down and the dog would grab the duck that and at the same time there was another variation of that game where they were used to like clay clay flying saucers or frisbees which used to go up and you you have to shoot them i feel like this was like a reference to that i don't know you know like because there there was both a frisbee and a dog here 
So the, it was probably like that type of a reference where you have to shoot the frisbee and while the dog used to grab the ducks or whatever. So this is just what I think. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Uh, oh, the next scene. The next scene was the wiener scene. And oh my God, like again, this reminded me of so much of uh, daily life of high school boys because the daily life of high school boys also has a similar scene like this where was it a yeah it, it was also wiener wasn't it i don't remember what it was uh but you know there's like a the few <laughs> friends just moving with one person eating the wiener and it falls from his hand and he just everyone just like you know slaps it away like weird just things happen shenanigans and by the end of it it falls down and he just grabs it and put it in his mouth you know that scene this this is like you know this reminded me of that and uh, this has a little bit of a different where here basically um yuko yeah yuko was waiting for the wiener to eat it at the end and it, it slips from the chopstick just starts going around here and there and she tries to grab it tries to go with super saiyan and grab it but unfortunately it doesn't work um but um mai was also there ready with her glove play baseball glove unfortunately that 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 uh, that that student that kid with uh, the mohawk you know just try to grab like a like a like a, a small coin and oh my god that was nasty it went through his hair <laughs> but yeah like in all these things like you know they try to do nothing works so by the end of it okay it falls now this part yeah it falls and it kind of bounces and she, she grabs it and she's like oh it's safe and <laughs> Mio is like what the hell it fell down and she's like no the three second rule and uh, as far as I know the three second rule is that yeah if something falls down if, if you <laughs> grab it within three seconds it's okay to eat it <laughs> yeah but you know what I should be concerned about here not the fact that the like you know winner fell on the ground but the fact that the winner went through the hair of a student and you know like someone tried to grab it with a baseball glove like how oh my god like i, I think you should probably focus on that instead of that it fell on the ground it's okay it, it fell for like a second on the ground but it actually went through a person's hair that was oh my god that was uh. and and she just put it in her mouth like that <laughs> okay that was funny now okay the next part we meet the principal and as i said i saw the principal uh, like you know the most famous clip of the principal where he used like you know kind of wrestles with a deer that's like one of the most famous clips of anime and i've seen it so many times so <laughs> <laughs> now I, I get to see what, like, what type of a character this principal is he, he he's a weird type of a character he just w makes weird jokes and it's just <laughs> something like he, t he talks about how like you know like children you should not uh, you know like catch and like you know you should probably wear proper clothes you know like warm clothes to keep yourself warm uh, so that you should not catch any cold but unfortunately, like, you know, um, I, like, you know, my hair is bald, like, there's nothing in my head. So I, I am, like, you know, I, I catch a little bit more cold than you people. Something like that, he says something like, where is that? Yeah, I'm twice as cold as any of you, though. <laughs> and everyone's just looking at him. And uh, then he says something about, uh, oh, like, you know, if you break the promise, this was one of the most, <laughs> one of the most hilarious parts, I feel like, you know, like, it's not a scene where you burst out into laughing, but it's, it's amusing, this part where he says, if you break that promise, I'll become the principal of another school. <laughs> I've never seen anyone say something like this before. And... <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Like. 
and I, I can hear him kind of snickering at his own joke and now that I look, listen to that part you can he's in front of the mic so I can hear her snick him snickering to his own joke oh my god this guy <laughs> I feel like I feel like the principal will be my favorite character of this show or something <laughs> oh but yeah like she make he makes these weird jokes And you could like, do you think the principal realizes that his jokes are not funny? <laughs> and then you could like, wait a minute, maybe maybe he's doing this because he wants us to learn that even if it's not funny, the 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 like you know the in our corrupt society, you know the importance of hard work or something like that. He she says. Now this whole scene of like you know the students not really listening to the principal in the speeches is a very relatable one i feel like all the students have gone through this you know in the assembly special assembly or whatever the hell they're called uh you know like where the teachers just come in and the principal as well comes in just talks about random stuff for like five to ten minutes and you just you're just standing there like, you know you, you can't even do anything like <laughs> that that part and i feel like every student has gone through this <laughs> Okay, now <laughs> here uh, Yuko kind of looks behind and he he sees my laughing and she's like, wait a minute, she found that funny, and she thought like you know Yuko thought like okay now it's my turn to make her laugh as well because she's she's like a, a white type of a girl kind of uh, stoic, that's why probably she wanted to make her laugh and she tried to do that but she just stopped and then we realized what she was laughing at was not at the joke. But the squid in her hair. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now uh, I guess this is like a different speech where like you know all the other teachers are talking about it as well. No, it's the same speech, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, like all the teachers are coming in and giving speeches. And uh, and obviously this is the, I think this is the entrance ceremony, isn't it? Of of the first year uh, of the third year, I think, yeah. So these type of like you know situations, the speeches are extra long. Oh boy! Uh, as I said, like you know, I th I think everyone has like experience like this. And this time, uh, Miss Sakura, I think that's the name of the teacher. Yeah, the female teacher, homeroom teacher. She comes up, and she's like, "Okay, what should I say?" And then she's like, "Okay, I've seen you know goats coming in schools. So, like you know, we should probably stop that." And Sasa is like, what the hell, what hell, do you have anything against goats? You know, this doesn't violate any school policy. Like, you know, like, you know, how, how can you say that? And she, she just starts ranting about the whole thing. <laughs> like, yeah, obviously, like, you know, this, like, is, is there any school rule book where it's written that you cannot bring a goat to you, uh, you know, <laughs> as a mode of transport? I don't think so. So, yeah, he's, he's probably right. Like, you know, there's no rule against that. So, yeah, why shouldn't? <laughs> And uh, <laughs> the teacher's like, all right, I'll allow ghosts then, uh, no problem. And okay, now this, this another girl that comes, who kind of looks a lot like Yuko. At first, I, do, I actually mistook her to be Yuko. Uh, but she's a different girl, I could see now. Uh, <laughs> she just shoots him. <laughs> and says like, ghosts are green, ghosts are not okay. Oh, Tachibana Misato, that's her name. Okay, uh, she's probably like the disciplinary committee or something like that, I'm guessing, or maybe a, a student with very uh, high, what do you call them, uh, responsibility, or, no, 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 yeah, sense of responsibility or something like that. So, I cannot figure it out, the person with Sasahara, is that a male or a female? I feel like that's a female, I might be wrong though. Like especially the eyelashes, it looks. Uh, I don't. Know, I'm sure I'll get to know in the future. Okay, now here, <laughs> Sasa talks about how he's actually like you know no. Uh, Misato says that you you're not even like you know like a uh, like you know you you're just a farm farmer's like you know elder kid. Why are you saying it like that? But he's like nah like you know, I am an elder son. So what's wrong like you know by by saying that? And they kind of get into like an argument or something, and everyone gets to know that she he's from a farming family. <laughs> and 
and Neo is just fantasizing of Sasara coming on a goat and you know like in front of her <laughs> and he says happy new year or something like that yeah happy new year and she's like me too <laughs> just full on nosebleed falls down unconscious <laughs> oh my god and uh, the teacher is still talking about stuff like you know don't uh, like, you know talk in the phone while just uh, while bicycling this that just says everything like that and then in the end she brings up the actual thing like who put this this uh, statue in my locker and she's like i won't be mad so please raise your hand and oh my god the principal is like um i'm sorry that i thought that it was your birthday i think that's what he says yeah well i heard it was your birthday miss sakurai i don't know what the hell happened after that some some person became full super saiyan for a moment i don't know what happened there but and then the principal is like oh so you don't like you know like uh, this the uh, wooden statue, uh, not statue, sorry, sculpture. And then he's like, talks about like you know, like kind of recites a little haiku. And yeah, that was it. Oh my god, this this guy is something different. And <laughs> and he's like, this in concludes the morning announcement. Wait, what happened here? This part, I, I don't understand. I think the narrator, the announcer kind of says like, okay, thank you for your work up until now, principal. I guess because he said like, I'll, I'll, be, like, you know, I'll go to a different school or something. And okay, this part, this punchline, I feel like I wasn't able to understand. All the other parts I was able to understand. But then the vice principal kind of looks behind and he, he's like, Oh no, that's the principal. Sorry, that's a vice principal. Okay, okay, I understand now. Okay, I understand the joke now. So basically, the vice principal was saying like, okay, like you know, that concludes the morning and like you know, announcements. Thank you for your like you know work, principal. And <laughs> the principal just goes down and he's like, vice principal, what the hell are you saying? Something like that, I guess. All right, I understand now. And the next part, the emergency uh, alarm button, where like Yuko just said that. Oh, yeah, we can probably she was just joking. She's like, oh yeah, like yeah, maybe you should press it and see what happens. And she presses it just like that, without even hesitating. And we see Yuko was also surprised. She was she thought that she he was she would probably not do that. And she was joking or something, but she actually went and pressed it. And everyone's just like you know, like complete chaos and everyone's just trying to get out. Okay. All right, and then there's this part called Helvetica Standard, and then there's this like, <laughs> uh, um, I, I, like a like a Grim Reaper, yeah, talk like you know, asking people what clueless means. Another Grim Reaper comes in and he's like, "Oh, that's actually you. You're clueless." Oh boy! And then we move to the next scene where Tomiopa, I think that's the name. That's the name of the teacher. He says like he he calls Sasahara and talks tells him about how even though it's not outside the school rules, he should not bring a goat. <laughs> oh my god! Like these little parts are kind of funny, you know. When when at first like you know Sasahara was like calls him sir, and then he's like call me like an it's Tomioka, and then he calls him by his name Tomioka. And then he's like, call me by teacher. Like, you know, this little, these type of little, small little jokes and parts, you know, quick, like, you know, back and forth are kind of, are really funny, I feel like. And, uh, like, these are, like, subtle comedy, which is quite hilarious. And <laughs> I feel like Nichijou is able, to, is able to do that pretty nicely. Like, there's, like, subtle comedy here and there, just small little jokes, comebacks and everything, which, which kind of, you know, like if you think about it, it's really funny. And uh, <laughs> okay. And he says how to call his goat by the name Sasahara Kojiro. I don't know if that's like a reference to Sasaki Kojiro or something, 
but it, like you know the name sounds like that sasahara kojiro so <laughs> yeah all right now the next part we get to the robot uh now nano i think that was the name yeah nano and uh, she talks about how like you know she's like a robot made by the professor she helps the professor out this and that and does the housework and all and when she tries to get in she stubs her toes and oh boy i'm pretty sure everyone has experienced this at least once in their life stubbing their toe in the corner of something it it's painful it's extremely painful if you have not experienced that thank god that you haven't and uh, <laughs> yeah and even though she's a robot she she has these type of i think like you know these pain things and receptors or whatever and <laughs> she's like oh my god my toe it's it's hurting and hakasa goes and just takes it out <laughs> takes the toe out now interesting thing comes up here she asks what the hell is this key for what what, what do we do with this like you know, why, why is it even there and <laughs> Hakasa goes and turns it and her 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 finger her uh, yeah w was it the thumb or the not thumb sorry was it the little finger or the I don't know a anyways um yeah yeah it, 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 was, it was the uh, toe the uh, the big finger of, of the uh, of the feet it comes out and there's like a little pen drive or ex like, you know ex ex something like that in, in the thing i don't know what that was was that like a socket to like you know just connect it to the uh, feet or was it something else but it just went out and the professor is like oh that's just there because it's cute and <laughs> nano talks about how it's sad that you know she cannot lay down properly you know like she cannot go outside and she talks about how like you know, she cannot sit and she's like why did you do this professor you know like just because it's cute you know i'm suffering and she talks about all of this and the professor starts crying she, she says like i wish i was not a robot and nano's like oh i'm sorry sorry i, I was just joking it's it's just it's just a joke oh that was that was yeah and in the end we see the unfortunate student who just got blown out up by nano before and he still hasn't able to climb down yeah that's how it ends so that's the first episode um uh, interesting i i like it you know like i i knew i would like it because obviously comedy animes never like, you know good comedy animes they never miss and nichijo is one of the most popular comedy animes and uh, i was able to understand that the comedy here is a lot different from daily lives of high school boys and we know where the daily life of high school boys actually kind of went in the more relatable route where you know like where there was like a lot of relatable things like friends kind of did with each other which we kind of like you know saw and it was like hilarious in that way you know for example friends friends just messing with each other like you know like little things and that's what made it funny while here it's pure chaos like you know weird stuff happens which you never will be able to anticipate that's, I think that's the comedy in this show. That's basically the comedy here. For example, um, the, the whole, um, what was that? The, the, like, you know, the, the, the robot just blowing up, you know? And then like, you know, the toe just coming off or, um, you know, like, like all the other stuff that happened here. Um, oh, a random goat, you know, a student riding a random goat to the, to, to the school. <laughs> the principal just like you know just telling weird jokes these things you know it's just random like you know chaos and i feel that's the comedy here and that's that's really funny you know like sometimes it really catches you off guard and it's just hilarious and this is barely the first episode so i'm sure i'll get to see a lot more like this so yeah uh, the only one thing that i will probably have a little problem with is remembering the names because there's a lot of characters i can see that uh, but i'm sure i'll be able to get used to it you know there's like 26 episodes for this anime so i'm, I'm sure uh, like you know I'll, I'll get used to it uh yeah that was it guys thanks for watching this was my uh, reaction of uh, episode one of nichijo so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and uh, yeah i'll check them out and that's it guys thanks for watching and i will see you guys next week with another episode of Nichijou. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.